Conan O'Brien. but they are stunning and incredibly accurate. I hope they're for sale after the show because I'm buying them all. And maybe I'll give them all to you guys as a, as a gift of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Wow. This is great, isn't it? This is wonderful. I feel like I'm at the Smithsonian. Do they do this at the Smithsonian? It doesn't matter. Well, look at this. Now, I have been told I have to keep this to about 15 minutes or, or you will all start fighting with each other. So, uh, shall we get started? And I'm, I'm, this is such an esteemed panel. Conan O'Brien, can I start with you? Uh, we have been friends for many, many years. And there's something I've always been afraid to ask you, but I'm just... I'm just dying to know the answer. Where can I watch your show? <laughs> That's a legitimate question. It's I'm excited. A fair, to, it's a fair question, Ron. It's, excited to, it's a fair question. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I want to watch yes, it. Oh, I want to oh, watch oh, it. Oh, yes. I know. I know, yes. Ron. It's not an easy thing. Uh, there's a... There's a rural airport. Okay. In North Dakota. And if you go, have a if you I go, you look, look, at, look at this down for you. If you go yeah. to the departure desk, they're showing it on a loop. And Ron, I hate to toot my own horn. I hear it's doing quite well. I don't doubt it. Yeah. I don't doubt it. They're eating it up. Some people delay getting on the plane to see a little more of my hijinks. So it's a... It's a regional show. It's a regional show, mostly. Yeah. If you can get to an affiliate that's getting a signal from mm -hmm. that tower, you can maybe watch it anywhere within a 150-mile radius of that North Dakota airport. This is an opportunity. That's, that's big time. Yeah. I I'd gotta, like to add something else. I My think, show, I, it lives in people's hearts more uh -huh. than on television. Mm -hmm. And in their souls. So you can watch it in your soul. Do you understand, Ron? SMH, man. SMH. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Shaking my head. I learned, I learned it. I learned it on the drive up here. SMH. Yes. <laughs> Samantha B. Yes. Samantha B, everyone. Samantha B, can I just say you have the most beautiful name in all of show business, and I just want to sing it. Oh, please. I just, Samantha B, Samantha B, Samantha B. James Gordon, you're always singing when you shouldn't be. Would you join me? Samantha B, Samantha B, Samantha. You want to go high and I'll go low? Samantha B, Samantha B, Samantha B. Everyone, everyone, all sing. Samantha B, Samantha B. Oh. Good night, everyone. Good night. Anyway, that just came out of nowhere, That's... and I'm excited to be here, and I'm a little nervous, and I'm a little sweaty. And if you felt inside my my vest, you wouldn't like it. Anyway. <laughs> 
Your show. Yes. Has a unique perspective. Uh huh. In that it, uh, you you come at things from a from a woman's perspective. Yes. And what's that and like, being a woman? Oh well, it's a hell of a thing mm -hmm. to be a woman. Can you can you even hear my voice? I mean, I know it's very shrill. Does it register for you? Can you hear it? Is it too high? Can you? Can you hear me when I'm speaking to you? No, I know. That was. Will white men ever catch a break in these times? Yes. Okay. Well, who knows? I think we're trying to find that out, huh? Thank you. James Corden. Quick question. Who let you into this country? <laughs> okay, unfair. Unfair. Another quick question. Royal wedding. Big to do. You were there. Team Markle? Or Team Middleton? Which way do you go? I'm on Markle. Markle. Now, I it... love suits. So, I mean, I can't find Conan show, but I can find suits anytime. <laughs> you guys should be on the same network. Uh, they get down to the nitty gritty on suits. Talking about suits, you know, fashion, things like that. But research, do research. Jimmy Kimmel, I'm such a fan. Jimmy Kimmel, everyone. I'm going to take you back. How many of you remember Jimmy when he was teamed up with his friend Adam Carolla on the Man Show? Woo! Woo! And I think you should bring that show back. Huh? It feels like the right time. <laughs> Bring back a show hosted by two white men called The Man Show. Do you agree? And yes, it's a trap question. It's a trap question. Maybe just I, I the, girls on the girls on trampolines. The girls on, yes. That's where I met Sarah. No, you know... People do get me, and this is common, but yeah. people do confuse me. That was actually Jimmy Fallon was on that show. That, and get out of town. Yeah, get did, out of town. He did a lot of bad shit that people confused, attached to me. Okay, you're hearing it here. So Fallon's a bit of a rascal. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yes, he is. SMH. Huh? <laughs> SMH. SMH. Yeah. Fallon. I knew it. Because like when I first watched it, I'm like, that looks like Jimmy Fallon. It was him, yeah. It was totally him. I think he got arrested for it. Huh. So he did time. Or was released on his own? Something like that. I don't know what happened. All I know is he's not here tonight. That's what I... And guess what? We are. Same thing. Yeah, we are so appreciative of it. Coming in quick one, how many Cable Ace Awards do you have? I have seven. I don't remember okay. what that is. I'm sorry. Sarah Silverman, everyone. Sarah Silverman. You're over there on the Hulu network with a show called I Love You, America. And Hulu is real, right? It's just like Netflix. It's just like an app like Netflix. Well, I love the name. I feel like your show is a beacon of hope in an otherwise hopeless world. Um, you still believe in this country, and, and rather than and see divisions, you see commonality in all of us. And my question for you is this, are you crazy? <laughs> very low dose of Zoloft <laughs> and that keeps me pretty even but um but that's how you do it 
What? Can you plan a funny answer? I'm sorry. No, this isn't about being funny. Yeah, no, no, no. I can answer getting... this one. Okay. This is about getting to the truth. Yeah, this is just a... No, Sarah's not crazy. I didn't think so. That was a beautiful gesture by you, Jim. Thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, we're all a little bit crazy, right? Right, I <laughs> That reminds me of a song. If you could turn back time. Is it Gordon Lightfoot? Not that one. Oh. That's not the one I reminded me of. By the way, this crowd, a bunch of stiffs, right? I'm out there laying out Gordon Lightfoot and everyone's staring at me like I got my. I'll sing Gordon Lightfoot with you. Oh, I'm, from fucking, I'm from fucking Canada. Oh, yeah. So I Look, give us a little Gordon Lightfoot. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Yes! Like an old time movie about a ghost in a wishing well. Yeah, something in a wishing well. That's where Gordon. There's a ghost in there somewhere. What was about the ship that the Edmund Fitzgerald? The Edmund Fitzgerald. Here's the tale of the Edmund Fitzgerald. That's not how it goes at all. I've never heard anyone cite a song and then sing it that wrong. Oh no, um, lake effect weather, it's gonna get bad. I just wanted to say that for the record, Gordon Lightfoot once urinated on my mom's car tires. The end. Yep. So, That's what thank happens. you. That's all that alcohol. Just one. Wow. Yeah. And even in the Was that at your house? Or where was it? Uh, <laughs> or were we at a concert thing? That was at his house. It was his house. She so was you, at his you house. Guys knew Gordon in the, it was the 70s. He peed on a lot of people's tires, but my mom's. That's why he had such light feet. That's exactly it. Just, if you want to be impressed by my family legacy, there it is. We're blown away. Yep. I love it. And this was in. 70s ish. Uh, 78. In the Can't Paris of the North, Calgary, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Calgary. Sure. Have you hosted anything before? <laughs> oh, I've hosted a lot of things. <laughs> no, I've hosted. You seem completely out of your depth. <laughs> you don't seem to know who we are. Look, your here's questions the thing. don't make any sense. I've got this. There's no light in your I eyes. I was told this would be done by candlelight, and I've got those two prison searchlights bearing down on me. And I couldn't bring my lighting team. You look like a trap rat. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. You just this thing is badly. This is not. my panel. Speaking of panels, I gotta let out my suit jacket because I'm about to burst it. Look. Relax. You're terrible. Take a chill pill, guy. I wish I could. Take any pill I could right now. Yeah. Or <laughs> some of Sarah Zoloft, okay? I've got my personal doctor backstage, Dr. Stephen Chu, and he'll give you anything you want on the spot. Okay. I've asked you all a lot of questions here tonight. Uh, <laughs> a lot of questions. You're fine. It's okay. <laughs> We're really covered. That, that part's going well. But you're all highly trained professional interviewers yourself, and I don't often do this. I'm a very private man once the cameras go off. Um, so I've invited each of you to ask me a couple of questions. So, um, if you want to start, I don't know. I'm, whoever wants to start. I got a question. Yes. Um, you are... <laughs> I am... Regarded as one of the finest broadcasters of his generation. Thank you. <laughs> um, how do you, Ron Burgundy, how do you deal with fake news and the fake news media? Well, look, I was never that accurate when I was a newsman. <laughs> I would just say, guys, are we going to do some make em ups today? We're like, yeah. <laughs> and so I think you've got to have a little entertainment value. That's, that's what always 
helped me. I went a little too far when I said we won the Vietnam War uh, in 69. Uh, and that was bad. But other than that, you know, finders keepers. Okay, I also, I have a question for you. Do yes. you really, um, you really have been at the vanguard of on-camera relationships. Like Joe and Mika, Tucker Carlson, and yes. David Duke. What is your take on office romance? in the current climate. Well, it's a, it's a delicate thing, yes. right? Yes. You it know? Is the I most mean, delicate. <laughs> Look, I don't think I would survive in today's newsroom environment because uh, if I had eyes for a lady, I'd, I'd let her know about it. If she had a fine caboose, um, just being honest, I would say I like that caboose. I'd like to. I'd like to hitch my wagon to it. And uh, do you want to go out for a plate of fish? Uh, and that usually works. Uh, maybe some cod. Maybe some halibut. Sauté shrimp. Surf and turf. So I don't think you can do that nowadays. And you have to be professional. And, uh, and it's the way it should be. Trust me. I'm good with it, the way it is. Now. Back then. Easier time. But better time? No. Good now. I'm good with it. Conan. I have a question, Ron, if that's even your real name. Ron. Of course it's my real name. Ron. We're all here tonight to give. This is yes, a charitable we event. Is is. We're all here to give our time. Yes. To give for a great cause. That's why we're all here. Unlike you, I prepare. I did some preparation. I did some research. I looked into it. You have never in your entire life made a charitable contribution of any kind. Not one. Not one charitable contribution. And one week ago, you bought a yacht, did you not, sir? And you christened it the SS Charity is for Chimps. <laughs> True statement or false statement? Yes, I did. Fine. Next question. <laughs> Look, first of all, how dare you? How dare you? Yes, I bought a yacht, okay? I bought a yacht, I can't get into how I finance it. But I, 